and I'm on a kind of a police roll, <laughs> you might say. So this is The Bed's Too Big Without You. And uh, this is one of Andy Summers' most vicious songs rhythmically. He's got a few, but this one just drives along and he's got a great pocket. The whole band does, of course, but his rhythm work is just absolutely stellar. Now you'll see this played a lot of times with small reggae type uh, versions of the chords. <laughs> But you can pull up just about any live footage of uh, the police doing this live and you'll see that Andy is playing full on five and six string bar chords for the whole thing, okay? So let's talk about the chords first and then we'll talk about how all this stuff is played. I've got a very clean tone going. In fact, there's no chorusing at all, just a bit of verb. Live, he did add a bit of chorusing to it, but not that really intense chorusing that he used on a lot of stuff. So I'm keeping it clean, kind of true to the studio recording. So the first chord, as I mentioned, is A minor to the B minor. And you can see that I'm just doing a down up, down up, but then stopping the chords and making them very staccato. And if you want to put that That's kind of cool if you want to put that in there. Live, again, you'll notice that he kind of does that. Not all the time and not consistently, but he sometimes just starts kind of funking it down, okay? So you can do it either way, straight, or adding the mutes, releasing the pressure on the strings. Just keeping your hand going. Down, up, and down, up with the chord muted. So it's like a down up with the chord on and down up with the chord pressure release. Just enough to mute the string. So either way is fine. Straight, as I said, or with the uh, percussive strokes tossed in. Gives it kind of a nice drive. Now when we get to the E minor seventh, this is where Andy does the pull-offs. And that can be pretty tricky to do if you're not used to doing this because you've got that uh, one string in between those two fingers, the second finger and the third finger. So you're trying to maintain the bar and pull those two fingers off. And I do that with all down strokes, but you can sort of do it as you're strumming as well. So it's... strokes in there it just sounds great right it's just such a driving little tune now you're gonna play that eight times in the uh, actual song when Sting starts the verse. And on the eighth time, you jump off, okay? So you're gonna play eight of those, but on the eighth one, you're gonna go. So, it's on the 8th one that you drop off, so you don't go to the E minor 7th, you just play the A minor 7th, the B minor 7th, and then we go to the C major, A minor, and the E minor 7th pull off action again. And it's the same idea. They jump off at the tail end of these progressions, okay? So you're going to play that progression, the C, A minor. You're going to play that four times. And then on the fourth time, you're going to jump off. So again, they're replacing the E minor with something else. So we'll play four of these, and then I'll show you what happens afterwards.
there's four of those. So you want to do four of those in a row, okay? Now, those triplet staccato jabs on that B minor chord can be really tricky to play. Uh, you can see that I played it a couple of different ways in my right hand, both at the beginning of the video and just now. I prefer to do it with all down strokes. And you've got to pop that chord. So those are triplets. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. Da, 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 da. With the A minor just being alternate strokes, down, up, down, up type feel. Now, about this chord, you want to pop it on and off. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. So if you watch Andy play it live, he actually keeps his right hand going, which I did a couple of times in this video as well. That's really tricky to do. But if you like that, and again, that is the way Andy plays it, you've got to fit that into these alternate strokes. So you're literally doing the triplets on one, two, three, one, two, three, one. So the first triplet falls on a downbeat and the second one falls on the upbeat. And then you end with a downstroke for that last uh, downbeat. And again, you can play it either way. I tend to play it that way because I feel like I can play it tighter. Either way is cool, uh, but of course at the tempo they're playing, uh, it can be pretty vicious with the uh, alternate strokes. So either way is fine. I think it sounds pretty great both ways. Now, one other thing that you're going to hear in the song is after they break it down and they're just grooving on the percussion. That's a cool little riff, uh, that Andy and Sting double. So let me play that real slow for you with the tab on the screen. And there's definitely some muting going on back here. I do that with downstrokes because I like the way the notes pop out. But needless to say, you can do it with alternate strokes if you prefer that as well. But you can hear it doesn't sound quite the same. And it starts on the upbeat, so I start it with a, an upstroke and then go alternate from there. nice like that. So there you go with The Bed's Too Big Without You, another one from The Police, and again, great rhythm guitar work from Andy Summers. I hope you enjoyed the lesson, and uh, all the best to everyone, all the time.